Now, you know, in some of my videos, I showed you how to use the lab scope and the low amp probe to look at a fuel pump, and you can see the dropouts, or you can see a bad pattern, or know whether that's not as bad. Well, you can do the same thing on any electric motor. We're going to show you right now on a cooling fan. Now, if you look at your electrical diagram, you see that the two power wires, or the two large wires at the relay, is the red brings power to the relay. Once the relay is energized, it sends that power to the black with pink, the other large wire. You can tell that your relays which ones are carrying power because of the size of the wire. The larger wires carry the amperage. You see we've got a red wire, it's a large diameter, and a black with pink, that's the other large. This is the power in. When the relay is energized, it sends power over here. Well, let's use the lab scope and actually look at that signal. I'm going to take my low amp current probe. I'm going to switch it on to 20 amps. So it should show up to 20 amps. I'm going to zero it. Now I'm going to go to my relay to this black wire, which is the ground side of that circuit, and put my amp probe around it. Now you can see on the pattern, we're actually running. That's a very bad waveform, and we're pulling 14.9 amps. Okay, the motor just kicked off, and we went down to zero volts. Now we're going to put in a new motor and we'll show you what a good waveform look like. Now we've got the new fan motor installed. We've got our scope hook back up. We're going to wait for the cooling fan to kick on and show you the pattern. Now it just kicked on. You can see the pattern went up a little bit. And now we've got a good waveform. Bring that down so that you can see it a little bit better. You compare that to the old waveform, it looked like this. The picture I took of the old waveform. And that's a live picture of the new motor.